Well, hello YouTube. Today, Peepaw, Cookie, and Callie and I, we have discovered a hidden gem in Volusia County. And this park is part of the Bartram Rivers to Lake Heritage Trail. So, why don't you come along and see what we see? So at this park, it's adjacent to the Stetson University Aquatic Center. They have a faculty member who is uh, a Bartram expert. It was amazing when I looked this up, how I stumbled upon the story of William Bartram and the impact that he made in our nation. This is a picture of the actual the trails and all of the amenities that are here. There's a very nice fishing pier. There's a, I think it's about a 1.6 mile trail that loops around. are not picnic tables here, but there is a very nice pavilion. And Peepaw is here and fishing off of the, um, not the fishing pier, but on the bank over there, which is allowed here as long as you have a, a valid fishing license. When I started looking into the history of this, William Bartram uh, was a Quaker who back in 1773 to 1775, he and his dad were here in Florida and he was documenting the flora and the fauna and, and actually uh, Lake George, which is north of here, he named that uh, in honor of King George. He was published and very well circulated all through England, really helped people discover Florida. Once you come into the park, you're on the main path, footpath coming in, and the very first path that turns off to the left is where you actually access the walking trail. But if you pause here, this will give you some more details around uh, William Bartram and how Stetson got involved. And like I said, one of the professors at Stetson is actually a Bartram scholar and he has put together, uh, in this park, he has put together these plaques that actually feature some of the drawings that Bartram made on his trip way back in uh, 1773. But this is where you access the nature trail as well as the kayak launching. And right here is where you go back onto the trail and it, it goes about one and a half miles back up and there's what I've and not only did Bartram do a lot of illustrations of the, the trees and the flowers, but he did birds. And these are some of his drawings that are featured on this kiosk right here. And today I've seen the green her heron and the sandhill crane. But then also some smaller cranes have been over here working. And I'm standing here by one of the fishing piers that are built out over the water. And right here, they have a kiosk that is citing what Bartram documented as fish that were present in the river and in the lakes. And I'm not letting the wanderer, Miss Cookie, go off by her own. Ooh, you guys, look at that big old, that big old huge spider right there. And for those of you that are interested in bird watching, being able to look at the horticulture of an area, especially historically, this kiosk gives you the details um, with a map that cites where Bartram actually stopped and documented the areas with his drawings and his writings. And they have a very small pollinator garden here, and I've actually been watching the butterflies working this today. They do have a very nice restroom building. It looks like it's probably controlled uh, at nighttime because it has scanner kind of locks on there. And this is right next door to the Stetson Aquatic Center. Um, they do some water quality uh, research support here as well as their rowing team um, practices here if you look by that blue bucket. 
There's a heron right there. And then Peepaw is out there on that little spit of land. It is acceptable for you to fish from the bank. And especially this time of year, uh, this is a habitat for manatees to here all the time, but they winter in the warmer waters. So you have to go idle speed and keep your eyes open for them. A lot of them actually get hurt from the props on the boats. And you guys, if you remember the manatee film I did last winter, um, the one that I showed you coming under the bridge had a lot of scars on their back from props. So if you're looking for a very nice park to be able to just come and spend the afternoon and get some fresh air, this is not highly trafficked that I have seen and it offers a lot at no charge. Dog friendly, very clean, has a bathhouse bathroom. So you you know you're pretty set up. Thanks for watching guys. Hello friends and thanks for giving us your time. And if you can, take time to drop us a comment because we love getting those. But the most important thing is to keep exploring Life Matters. We hope we'll see you again soon. Bye bye!